Hello everyone, my name is Stanley St. Rose, and today we're going to be talking about The Monkey's Paw, written by WWE Jacobs. Now, before I go into summary and analysis of this work, please remember to leave a like, subscribe, and or comment so that the channel can continue to grow. Now, this work by W.W. Jacobs is very interesting. It's, it's really a um, very fa a fascinating work. Um, basically, what happens, we, we get introduced to this man by the name of Mr. White. Mr. White is married to Mrs. White, and they have a son by the name of Herbert. Uh, and Herbert and, and, and his parents, they're, they're happy, you know. Uh, Mr. White has everything that he could ever want in, in life. You know, he has a son, he has a wife, he has a home. Uh, he's an older man, so, you know, he's lived his life. And basically, uh, and th this evening that, that's happening within this work, um, they have a guest, a guest that's coming to visit them, a guest that's coming to see them. And the guest um, is a soldier. The soldier's from India. Um, and, and the soldier's from India. And the soldier comes, you know, they had to wait for him while they were waiting. Um, Mr. White and Herbert, they were playing chess. Um, and so... Uh, this all takes place, this all happens, and basically the guest comes, he knocks at the door, he's a soldier, and he comes in, he's like, you know, um, I just came from India, um, and, um, you know, I have this thing, this this charm, this monkey's paw that a shaman, you know, a spiritual figure put a spell on it, and, you know, three people can make wishes, uh, and they each get three wishes, and the soldier pretty much tells us, listen, um, you know, uh, the first man, you know, they wished and they got death. And so there's this occurring pattern that when you use this thing, it brings about death. Um, so we're playing with the spiritual world here. Uh, this is in the realm of shamans, witchcraft and all that kind of stuff. So very evil stuff, very dark stuff. And um, the soldier tells Mr. White, listen, we got to be careful here. Uh, he throws him in the fire. Mr. White grabs. He's like, no, we're not going to burn it. I'm going to keep it. I'm going to have three wishes. And the soldier basically tells him, listen, I got this from India. I did some time in India. It brought me bad fortunes. It brought me about death. Somebody that's probably close to him probably died. Um, and so the soldier is like, you know, don't do it. You know, don't do it. And, and the soldier, his name is Mr. Morris, right? Uh, Sergeant Morris. And, and basically um morris tells him this he doesn't listen um morris leaves they, they you know they have dinner uh they they have dinner they eat they have a good time um and basically um after all this is done uh you know morris leaves and um mr white he makes a wish he which he wishes for 200 pounds uh and um you know the mother and uh Hugh, herbert their you know mr white's son he doesn't believe that they're gonna get the money they think that the money's gonna drop from the sky or something like that but that doesn't happen what all what ultimately happens is that you know they go to sleep before mr white goes to sleep he sees a bunch of scary faces a bunch of devilish demon-like faces in the fire and the last face that he sees is actually very sinister before he falls asleep so he falls asleep um he falls asleep and basically um you know he's quite scared he's quite terrified he's quite you know out of his mind uh and this happens this takes place uh and um what ultimately happens next is that um the next day herbert goes to work he gets caught in one of the machines at the factory and he dies and uh, a representative from the company comes in and the representative gives them the 200 pounds. He's like, listen, your, your son has died. You know, the, the representative just tells the mother, listen, your son has died. We're so sorry about this, but he's dead. Uh, and the company, you know, we're gonna give you 200 pounds for your losses. And, you know, Mr. White is distraught. He throws his hands in the air. He's like, oh my goodness, I can't believe this happened. And it's, it's made clear that it's because of his wishing with the monkey paw. Uh, and so, um, yeah, that, that's basically what happens. They get the 200 pounds that they wished for, that Mr. White wished for, and he regrets it because he lost his son for 200 pounds, uh, which is crazy, uh, absolutely crazy. Um, and um, they're, they have the funeral. They can't believe that they're burying their son. It happens very quickly, bury him, and that, well, life goes on. And then after, like, you know, a week after they buried their son and, you know, uh, you know, the mother is crying and she wants her son back and you know she remembers that the monkey paw they still have two more wishes and she forces her husband to get 
the monkey paw. He gets the monkey paw and she forces him to wish for their son to be back alive. And he doesn't believe it's going to happen. But during the middle of the night, they hear a knock at the door and the woman believes that it's her son that has come back. And the woman runs down the stairs, runs to the front door, starts to open it. And now, you know, Mr. White, the husband, he's afraid, he's scared. He's like, oh, my goodness, I don't know what's going to happen here. So he gets the, the monkey paw again right before, you know, the door could be completely open. And he makes an, another wish. He makes another wish. And um, the figure, whatever that was at the door, just disappears. And the story kind of ends with, with this emptiness and ominous feeling of they've lost their son for 200 pounds. The monkey paw ruined their lives. They're old. They can't have any more kids. Um, and the, the monkey paw just ripped away every single thing that they had in terms of joy and happiness, uh, which is just a very dark story. Uh, and that's really what happens within this work in terms of deeper meaning, in terms of analysis here. Um, the, the soldier warns Mr. White. Mr. White, you know, he even says it himself. This is what makes this story very ominous. It's really, really ominous is because Mr. White said, hey, you know, I have everything that I want. I have, you know, a good life. I have a house. I have a wife that I love. I have a son that I love. I have money. I have food. It's, uh, you know, he's re he's retired. He's old. He's, he, he, you know, he did everything that he wanted to do with his life. And now he can just relax uh, but but no, when the soldier comes in, when Morris comes in and offers the monkey paw, um, you know, he takes it. He doesn't want Morris to burn it. He just wants to wish for more stuff. And what, what does he wish for? Money. You know, um, even in the Bible, it says this, that, that you can't have two gods. It's either you, you have God or money. You know, uh, it's either Christ or money. And some people always love money. They always choose money. Money is, is a great thing. You can use it. Um, you know, it, it can be very useful, but you cannot worship it. And this man, you know, he had everything, but he still wanted some more money. And um, this cost, he got the money. And this is the thing with wishes. You, you never know when you're making demonic wishes, when you're wishing for demonic things, you're not going to like the result. I mean, when Mr. Before Mr. White goes to sleep, he sees those, those devilish faces in the fire. The last one was sinister. It's like, yeah, you're going to get the money, but you're not going to like how you're going to get it. Uh, that, that's the thing with wishes. You can wish for something, but you don't know how the wish is going to be accomplished. And that is always the darkness within these wish stories. Um, so, I mean, the story even begins with be careful what you wish for, because sometimes you don't like the results. Um, and Mr. White does not like the results. And, um, um, you know, that's that's the problem of greed. Greed is something that can cost you a lot. That's one of the themes. That's one of the ideas behind the story. Greed can cost you a lot. Haste can cost you a lot. Um, and Mr. White, it was too hasty, um, too too greedy um, to let an opportunity where he could obtain money go. You know, it was, it was just too much for him. Uh, and so that, that's what happens. That's, that's what happens with this work. Um, ultimately... Um, the mother and, and Mr. White, since they lost their son, um, they're pretty much just hollow shells of, the, of themselves. Uh, they'll never quite be the same again because, well, they lost their son. And that's something that's, that's very, uh, just very crazy and, and very sad for them. Um, but um, the lessons that you can take, you know, in terms of the analysis here, uh, the lessons you can take from this is just that well, um, the soldier with great warning warned them. They, they had all the, the, the warnings, but they wouldn't um, heed. They wouldn't listen. Um, or specifically, Mr. White wouldn't listen. He's just a man that just wants to please his own heart. Um, and the, the most darkest line uh, within this work is where the son, um, he goes and he says, man, I'll never get to see this money. And it's true. The son never got to see the money because it's his death that brought about the money. So there's so many hints throughout the work that shows you um, the foreshadowing, the, for, the foreshadowing of what's to come at the end of this work. And it's the foreshadowing of that the son was going to die. And, and yes, he did die. Uh, so the, the, the story of the monkey's paw, it, it is a story of witchcraft and, and, and demons and 
uh, witch, you know, magic and all that kind of stuff. And it shows you the dangers of whether you believe in magic or not, or the dark arts or not, it shows you the dangers of magic, of the dark arts, of the mysterious and the unknown. Uh, and when you pursue that, um, and also combine that with greed, when you pursue that, you can end up in a very unwanted place, a very unholy place, a very dark and lonely place. Uh, so that's that's the story of the Monkey Spa by WWE Jacobs. Uh, please remember to leave a like, subscribe, and or comment. And I'll see you guys in the next video.